This could save your home from a fire. This is a smart smoke detector that connects to our home Wi-Fi and the Shelly app on our phone. And if anything goes wrong, it sends a notification to our phone within seconds, sends an email and triggers an alarm. And if several people have the app, all of them will receive that notification. It detects and a few seconds after. It took about, I don't know, five seconds or so to detect everything. And I'm starting to receive notifications everywhere. There we go, notification on my iPhone and my Google Pixel 9 Pro, which are the two that I've got the Shelly app. And besides that, I already received an email and the noise. That's it, we need to manually disable it. This is the Shelly Plus Smoke and we can add one to our home or over time I can add a second, a third, as many as I want according to my needs and according to my budget. We just need to place them on the areas that we find most critical without the need to invest in an expensive full fire detection system. There will be a link down below but let's see how easy it is to use it. First of all, let's take it out of the package. Once the Smoke Plus detector is out of the box, we just need to remove the battery safety tab, install the the Shelly app and automatically it will detect the sensor. If by any reason it doesn't, we just need to press add and then Bluetooth and it will find the detector. Then just follow the steps to connect it to our Wi-Fi and that's it. Simple as this. Quicker than it took me to explain. Now we can assign the detector to a specific zone in the app, but in my particular case I do have several zones as you can see, but I wanted to keep things organized so I created a zone called fire alarm and then added all my detectors there. Right now I do have six detectors installed. One of them is right here above me, the other one on the storage area behind me, one in a second storage area that I've got right over here, one is in the kitchen, the other one is in the garage and the last one is on the kids playroom. These are the most critical areas in my house but all houses are different so you will need to decide where to put your units according to your needs. And this is one of the great things of having the freedom to decide where to put it but we can decide that there is one area in common which is the kitchen. Not only because of the fire possibility that is inherent to disturb and other devices that we have but because sometimes we might just forget to leave something on the stove and if we receive a notification either myself or anyone else using the app then we will have time to react and if I'm not at home probably I will make a phone call to see if everything is all right at home and if anyone forgot something on the stove. If not, if I by any reason just forgot something on the stove and left then I will have to return home but the important is that I did receive a notification and I will have time to react and probably something that could be very dangerous will be just something that I did forget but then someone reminded or it reminded me and that is it. We solved it. As we know the Shelly app can be installed in different phones and be used by different people and all of them will receive that notification. So the chances that the three or four of them will miss the notification are really low. And we can all share the same account and we will have access to all the smart devices that we have or if I only want to share this smart smoke detector with this person here I can share it individually. So I will have all my smart devices on my main account and then only the smart smoke detector shared with this person. So if anything goes wrong, this person along with this one will receive that notification. It uses a three volt battery which will last up to five years, but during the past few days I've been testing it out and one of them, I believe that it's this one here, is about 88% of battery because this was not meant to be pressed all the time or being pushed with smoke all the time. It's meant to be there monitoring if there's smoke or not and in case there's smoke then it will send a notification and the battery will last for five or more years. Nonetheless it will send us a notification when the battery is low so that we can just simply remove it and place a new one. During my tests it took only a few seconds of smoke to detect it, send the notification, send the email and trigger the alarm. All of the smoke that I did use was not from a ignition, was not from a fire, was from a smoke machine. So everything was in a controlled environment, no one was in danger, there was no fire at all. And although the smoke was from a smoke machine, it did detect really well. Whether it's for video surveillance, smart home or even fire detection, I always prefer systems that will allow us to have the 
freedom to grow if necessary and this is exactly one of those systems i don't think that this system or any other system will prevent us to have a fire at home or anywhere else but i do believe that if i receive a notification i will have a lot more time to react and if i react i will turn something that could be a big problem in something that probably will be only a small problem so sometimes spending money on one of these devices will save us a lot of money and preventing a lot of damages in situations that can be really dangerous i hope that i don't have to test out one of these in a real life situation i hope that you don't have to test out any of these or any other in a real life situation but if we do receiving a notification that helps us to react faster and make a serious situation into a soft thing that almost nothing happens hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one